Hi, my name is Daniela. I'm the Working Cat Director of Voice for the Animals and today we'll be taking a special look at our Working Cat program and show you how it works. First off, I'd like to give a special thank you to Maria Menunos and her husband Kevin Andugaro for not only adopting Working Cats of their own but letting us come in and film and showcase to you all on how the Working Cats program works. Step 1. Location check. The first thing we do is meet with the potential adopters and survey the location on where the working cats will be patrolling. First priority is the cat safety. We want to make sure that the cats will stay in a safe area with no immediate threats like coyotes or busy streets. Once we're all done surveying the area and making sure it's the right fit, we can start thinking about how many cats will be needed to do the job. Or maybe you think even one or two more cats or just the two for it. Most people only ask for two. If you want more, we can bring you more. It's up to you. Once the final details are settled on, we schedule an appointment to come back and move on to the next step. Step two, delivering the cats. And the cats are pulled from local shelters. All working cats are feral cats, unsocialized and otherwise unadoptable, which means every working cat is a cat saved. With the cat secured, we can now head over to the working cat location and get Kevin and Maria all set up. We make sure that every working cat is supplied with a month worth of food and litter, as well as all other essentials that will be needed. Along with the supplies, we bring over the cat's paperwork. This includes a brief history of the cat, where they came from, and documentation showing that the cat has all the appropriate vaccines, is microchipped, and is sterilized. And now we can start setting up the cat's shelter. Once the crate is completed, we can finally put the cat in, along with all the supplies. So there's three bowls that go in there. One is for dry food, one is for wet food, and then a bowl of water. Once the cat is comfortable in the new shelter, it's very important that the cat stays in there for three weeks. This gives the cat time to get used to the new territory. Step three, releasing the cats. We would love to hear any success stories that you have about placing working cats. We would love to post your stories and share them with other organizations and individuals so people know how successful this program is at saving lives. If you'd like to get working cats of your own or want to learn more about our program, go to www.workingcats.org. And so once we, I found out about it, I said, yo, my goodness, we'll take whoever you have. So we're really excited to have new members to the family and um, just looking to figure out a way to kind of keep them safe and happy and uh, part of the new team.